This is Harry Leon Crawford, a hotel cleaner from Stanmore. When arrested and charged with the murder of his wife, a startling revelation came to light. He was, in fact, Eugenie Fellini, a woman and mother who had been living as a man since 1899. In 1914, Harry Crawford married the widow Annie Burkett. Three years later, Burkett disappeared after sharing with a relative that she had discovered something amazing about Harry. Charles Burns, at the age of 19, received a three-month sentence at Newcastle City Jail for the offense of false pretenses. False pretenses typically involve deliberately misrepresenting facts or using deceptive means to induce someone to part with their property, money, or valuables. Many note his striking resemblance to Justin Timberlake. In the year 1911, Joseph Stalin found himself facing arrest at the hands of the Tsarist secret police in St. Petersburg. This apprehension was a consequence of his involvement in revolutionary activities. Goldie Williams defiantly crossed her arms for her Omaha police court mugshot. She was arrested on January 29, 1898, and police records indicate she stood at 5 feet tall and weighed 110 pounds. Listing Chicago as her home and her occupation as a prostitute, she had a broken left index finger and a cut below her right wrist, as noted in her arrest descriptions. An unidentified woman appears joyful in her 1945 mugshot. Little information is available about the photo and the woman featured. This 23-year-old from Omaha found himself sentenced to five years in the Nebraska State Prison, commencing on March 19, 1898. On May 12, 1897, in Omaha, Collins faced arrest for burglary. Evident in his mugshot, his head is wrapped in bandages. As per police records, Collins managed to escape but was later apprehended. In the year 1903, a 16-year-old named Susan Joyce found herself in legal trouble as she was apprehended for the act of pilfering funds from a gas meter. During his mugshot on November 24, 1899, Herbert Cochran was held in a headlock by a member of the Omaha police force after being arrested for burglary. In March 1929, Harry Williams received a 12-month hard labor sentence for breaking, entering, and theft. Despite his association with prostitutes and his frequenting of hotels and wine bars near the Haymarket, he is characterized as having a quiet disposition. David Bowie, along with three others, including fellow musician Iggy Pop, faced arrest for marijuana possession after a performance in Rochester, New York, on March 25, 1976. Bowie never returned to perform in Rochester. Thomas Boyd, born in 1900 and also known by the alias Coin, worked as a carpenter. He bore scars on his top lip, right forearm, right wrist, and left breast. His criminal activities included housebreaking, larceny, and receiving stolen goods. Boyd employed various methods of entry, and he was known to associate with a diverse range of thieves, according to the police. Bert Martin faced charges for horse theft in Kayapaha County, Nebraska. While in prison, it came to light that Bert, originally named Lena, had been living as a man to pursue a career as a cowboy. Records indicate Bert was then transferred to the women's division of the prison. This unnumbered special photograph features a handwritten inscription detailing Frederick Edward Davies, stealing in picture shows and theaters, debts Surridge Clark and Breen Central, 14721. Notably, this mugshot stands out as it was captured in an unconventional location, in front of the police station toilets. Limited details are available about this mugshot, except that this lady was detained in San Francisco on December 13, 1954. Her face immediately appears upset and exaggerated. However, it is unknown whether she is deliberately making a face or not. This is an 11-year-old boy whose identity is unknown. All we know is that he was apprehended for car theft. Sarah McDonald, 22, was arrested in a murder investigation involving a baby found dead in a suitcase in a wealthy neighborhood in Providence, Rhode Island. She claimed the 11-month-old died naturally but an autopsy revealed the baby was beaten to death. McDonald was charged with murder 
Some think she left the baby at a rich family's house where she used to work because she got pregnant by one of the family's sons. Mary Shannon was convicted of mayhem in May 1925 and received a two-year sentence in the Nebraska State Prison. Although the exact nature of her crimes is unspecified, legally, mayhem would involve intentionally disabling, disfiguring, or rendering one of another person's body parts useless, such as a leg, arm, hand, foot, or eye, either through intentional actions or during a physical altercation. James Hargreaves Jones, born in 1896, stood at a height of 5 feet 11 inches and possesses distinctive features, including blue eyes, brown hair, and a scar on the right side of his face. Notably, his modus operandi involved begging in residential areas and trespassing into unoccupied houses. Skookerman, also known as Kookerman, engaged in obtaining goods from warehousemen through deceptive means, falsely representing that he is involved in a legitimate business. A habitual offender with a prior arrest for petty theft, Helen Jarabek found herself in Boston's booking records once again. This instance involved a foot chase through the city, leading to her arrest on two counts of larceny. The charges included stealing a purse from a woman in a department store and shoplifting hosiery. John Dodgson, a minor born in 1902, engaged in crimes of larceny and fraud. He was described by the police as a bad character. James Whitewater took the lives of two men. During his imprisonment from 1872 to 1889, he found solace in Christianity. In 1889, the Nebraska legislature enacted a law granting the governor the authority to pardon inmates who had either been in prison more than ten years or whose conduct while incarcerated merited such mercy. Upon release, Whitewater exited the prison gates and jubilantly rolled in the grass from joy.